Hello everybody, my name is uh, Mini Nappa or Kiprin and welcome to a uh, how-to uh, video. In this video we're going to be uh, learning how to make Geometry Dash profile pictures that look like this. This is mine and I made this so I'm going to be creating one that's similar. Uh, I'm not is, is it, this isn't for anyone, it's just, uh, I'm just making it for fun. This isn't for anyone, so, I, I just said that. Okay, so, what you want to start off with, is you want to, your image, canvas size, 512. And it has to be a square 512. Alright, so they got that, I'm going to select my... Uh, this to delete so it's transparent. Okay, so now first step creating the border You could if you download a, a pack, let's say if you wanted to This is my pack This is my icon kit sometimes uh, There is an out a borders like these You can use one of these if you have it in there. I'm going to create my own Okay, so to do that, first off, we need to find make the outline. So we're gonna choose a square, brush width ten, black. Okay, so I'm gonna make an outline. Okay, so now that we have a square around, now we can do the special border. So you need to take a line. So you, for this coin you have to have enough room f so that you can put your ledgers in. So uh, that's roughly good. So let's make make it like so. Okay, so now that we have uh, corners of our border, now we need to make a border. So I'm going to do the same style as I had as that one. I'm just going to do a line here, like so, for each one. Okay. So our border is almost finished here. There we go. That's our border. That's the same type of border that I used in mine. Alright, so now that we need to do, you need to figure out your colors. So in this, I'm going to be doing, let's do a red. Red and... Hmm. What should I do? Red and black? Sure, red and black. So, I'm going to select... No, I'm, I'm going to do red and white. Okay, so let's select. So the primary is gonna be red. So I'm gonna select all these with these mat with this magic wand. Fill bucket. Fill all of these. I'm gonna do this. Select all the other ones. Fill it in. White white more I want it to be there you go I want it to be white <laughs> okay so now that we've got that so now we're gonna need to. Okay, so I've got this uh, cool effect thing. Uh, so since I have all of them selected, I have this. Uh, this, this I downloaded this giant uh, pack thing. You can. I'll, sh the links will be in the description. Uh, so you go. This is gonna be the Beevil thing. So selection, Beevil selection. And notice how it's, it, it has, has that like 3D effect or like a, a glossy effect. 
So this is so I'm gonna customize this. That's a little bit too much. That's not enough. So I think fifth. Uh, let's do the depth first, or if we want to. I think that looks good. Oh. I think 50 looks good. Okay. So that's all we, all we really have to do. Okay. So now that we got that. Alright. So we have our background. I'm just gonna add another layer. This will be for like our bottom. Add another layer. Add another layer. Add another layer. So that's that's for now. So file open so now let's we need an, let's do an icon first so uh, I'm gonna use what icon should I use oh, yeah, I use that. Um, let's use I'm not sure which I should use Let's just choose something like uh let's choose this one. Okay. So so grey is primary and since with us primary is red. So we're gonna need red. Uh let's do this. Uh delete all of these. Okay. So control it was this inner one, right? Yeah. Right. So it's pretty much the same thing as we did with uh, the outline border thing. So now we need to choose white. Okay, so now that we have all the selected, we're going to do another beefle thing. But it's gonna be a little bit different. So what's the depth gonna be? Oh, it's weird. That looks good. Okay. So now that we have that done. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so now we're gonna choose open. Now we're gonna choose a ship. Where's the ship? So we're gonna be choosing. Hmm. And don't worry about like the glow effects because we can add that later. Because it's not that important. It'll just mess you up. Trust me. So I think I'm gonna go with this right here. Okay. So let's go deleting all of these. Okay. Oh, I th I think we should do. Come on. Let's do these first. So this is red. So it's pretty much just straightforward from here. Uh, so now we can. Select everything because this is already white. I guess I could have done it with this square, but whatever. Uh, effects. And we're gonna do the same thing. Selection. Be able. It's gonna be a, maybe a little bit different. That already looks pretty good, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. All right, that looks good. So now we have to add these. So I'm gonna select all of these. These will be first. Copy, and I'm gonna paste it onto. Layer 5. Okay. So now this is where you have to customize your guy. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Well, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay. So I didn't, I forgot to add this in my, in mine. But I'm gonna add it here. It's the it's the trail behind the ship. I forgot to add that in there. So anyway, I'm gonna select all of these, copy, whoops, copy, and then paste. 
This is going to be, oh shoot. You have to go to layer 4, and then you can hit paste. So that it's behind. So let's turn it, and we need to make it a lot smaller. Okay, that's that's that looks pretty good, right? I think I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Hi, right, that looks good. Okay, so now we can. So now in here, I'm gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make a import from file. So it's the trails. So it'll be right here. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm thinking I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So, now that we got that done, we don't need to use that anymore. So I'm just going to move this there. And I'm going to I'm going to make them into the same layer. So now that I got the same layer, I'm going to select both all of them. Uh, I'll select just this guy. And I'm gonna hit effects. And then there's a an object outline. You wanna hit this one with like that, not that one, this one. Okay. So now we get to choose. So since this guy's main color is red, uh yeah, it's since it's main it's gonna be red, so this has to be red. So this is the strength. The radius is gonna be I'm gonna make it ten and make that looks good. So hit OK. All right, now that we got that done, I'm gonna just merge it with the trail. Okay, so now that that's done, layer three is where you get to your text. So I already have I have the pusab or pusab, whatever you wanna, however you pronounce it. It's so right here. We're gonna make it let's see, 48. It's a little bit big. But we're not using okay, so a pusab. So let's make this guy's name like that's a P no, it has to be white. Let's make it black. Let's make a black pack. P. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's make it Yeah, okay. So now that's done. What should his name be? Par parson. Parson. How about that? I don't know why. I just made it up. Okay, so now we can go selection. Select the. Uh, shoot. So his name's gonna be Parson. So we're gonna make the font a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm gonna go with 64. 50, 56. Okay. So his name's gonna be Parson. Great name. So actually it's going to go on top of it. So, okay, so let's select. Move it around. Let's like do this. I don't have really any cool fonts, but I would be using those if I could. Okay, so now that's done. Let's select this small one and make it a little bit bigger. too big. Okay. So I'm going to select all the text. I'm going to do uh, another effect. It's going to be another uh, outline. This one's going to be white. Radius. That looks good. Okay. So we're almost done now. So, all right. So now that we got these, I'm gonna merge it down. Okay. So now you need to go onto Google and look up. Since it's red, we're gonna look up red and white space. 
if you want like a space background. Okay, let's look. Uh, let's just look up red, red space. Okay, this looks pretty cool. This is going to be the background. You're not going to be able to really see it much because there's going to be a lot of effects. So let's just take this one. Ooh, bad quality. There we go. So go copy it. Go back into this. And on layer, the very bottom layer, you're going to paste. I keep canvas size. It's going to be really big, so you need to, I want to shrink it down. Okay, so now let's put it into. Wow, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're going to do the cool effects. So we're going to add another effect. Uh, it's going to be like a star. I'm not sure. Uh, so just look up star and then in the sky. So we're going to use this one. Copy image. Uh, we're going to pa oh, paste. Shoot. Okay, accidentally. Copy. Paste. Keep canvas size. So now we're so in this layer we're gonna do layer properties, color dodge. That's too, way too big. So with this you can either make it like a background like star thing or you can put it in the eye to make it like that eye effect. Chum. So let's turn it a bit, shrink it even more. Okay, so that look. Well, his eyes already white. So all, all we really need is this that like huge. That glare effect. So that looks pretty good. So what I what I like to do is I like to duplicate the layer and then make like a make like a star that's what I like to do okay so now that we got that we're gonna add another layer we're getting really we're getting really close okay so so we're gonna look up us uh, let's just look up space. Uh, let's do red space. Okay. So now we chose like that one, right? So now we need to choose another one with a lot of lights. Just trust me. Uh, duh, nah. Okay, we're not really finding it. Stars. Uh, light, red lightning, no, light, I know, we're not finding what we want, <clears throat> so we're going to look at red space, let's just go with this one, okay, it's already, oh, that's, that's kind of small, alright, we're going to copy, go back here on this new layer, and hit paste, Keep canvas size. It's gonna be really big. So we're gonna go back to properties, but this time it's gonna be additive, and that's what makes this really cool effect. That's why we kind of wanted all the a, a whole bunch of lights. Parson, <laughs> I like that name. Uh, 
Oh, so we're gonna let's duplicate the layer since there wasn't that many lights. Oh, what just happened? All right. So we're done with that. So now we're gonna duplicate the layer. No, we're gonna duplicate the layer. So now we're gonna select everything here. We're gonna like rotate it a little bit. No, it's not. Okay. So it looks pretty good. Wish we could have found something better, but it didn't. We didn't really find it. Okay. So we're almost finished. I'm just trying to. Th think of actually I think we're finished so now what I would recommend is don't merge everything down using these what you have to do is you have to image flatten and that'll flatten it correctly so now you're you're pretty much done that's a uh, that's all you really had to do so now just file save and name it whatever you want I'm gonna name this Parson GD and save type as anything that you want. Put to desktop. Okay. So now we can. Don't save. Now we can look at it in all its glory. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And uh, let me guys know down below if you want me to make an icon like this for you guys. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.